Welcome to Court Reserve. My name is Ashley Owens and I am one of the co-founders of Court Reserve. Today we are going to show you through the Court Reserve platform how we are helping tennis, pickleball, and more and more facilities and clubs use data and automation to drive revenue throughout their organization. Tim and I founded Court Reserve back in 2016 and we currently have our offices in St. Augustine, Florida. Court Reserve helps almost a thousand facilities around the world with most of those being in North America, with the United States and Canada. We help homeowners associations, POAs. We also help major universities and colleges. We work with management companies who need technology to help their country clubs who have racket and fitness, as well as parks and recs departments. And we also are a huge sponsor in the educational divisions of both tennis and pickleball throughout the country. We are the provider of software for the day-to-day -day operations for the USTA National Campus in Orlando, Billie Jean King in New York City, and major public facilities across the United States. Today I'm going to take you through Court Reserve. We are going to learn so much about how customizable Court Reserve can be for your facility. First I'm going to go through the mobile side of Court Reserve, then we're going to jump into the web-based application. So Court Reserve is completely customizable to your organization. Right now you can see here that this is customized for a tennis and sports facility. We are currently working on having the ability for you to have a customized mobile app in the iPhone and Android platforms, as well as website hosting. Court Reserve is completely customizable to your organization. As you can see on the left hand side, your logo and anything you want your players or members to be able to do. So as you can see here, we have our global announcements feature. I have shown this on the right hand side of the screen. You can announce events at your organization. You can announce closures. Maybe you're closing your courts for the day. The other tabs are also exactly what you want your players or members to be able to do. Is it sign up for programs and classes? Is it to book private instruction? Is it to see different member directory guides? Make reservations for your courts? And your players on the mobile app can also see all of their upcoming reservations and registrations. Let's talk a little bit more about your members, your players, maybe even your guests or your residents. So their side of the Court Reserve platform is going to make it super easy for them to book what, again, you want them to book. Is that your tennis and pickleball facility? Is that your rental of your ball machine? basketball or swim lanes. Again, your players can also see any of their upcoming past or canceled reservations or registrations. Anytime they make a court reservation, they will get a confirmation email that you can customize. All of the events in Court Reserve are all of those great classes, clinics, programming, summer camps, open plays, round robins that you want your players to be able to sign up for. They can scroll through and filter through the program categories and then sign up easily for what you want them to be able to sign up for. Again, anytime they sign up for one of your events, they can get a confirmation and also a reminder email. Now, they can actually go into their mobile app side of Court Reserve. They can update and pay for fees that you have assessed to their account. They can also control all of their notifications that you may send out from your organization, which could be email, text, or push notifications. Player self-check-in is a great feature in Court Reserve and allows you to easily check your players in and run great attendance reporting after. As you can see on the left-hand side of the screen, your players would have a simple barcode and once they clicked on it, they would be able to easily scan and check in, eliminating all that front desk congestion. This is just an example of what that could look like with an easy barcode reader attached to a tablet at a front desk. We also have Wi-Fi integrated remote locks. So the company remote lock, you would purchase those locks from the company. They range in between two to $400. If you have certain gates or doors that you want your players to be able to access, when they make a reservation, they get a unique four digit pin code. That pin code has rules assigned, so it controls how often before that reservation starts, your player can access that locked gate or locked court. 
This is an example of how remote lock works. It actually works great in homeowners associations and communities because it can keep players or people who don't belong on your courts off your courts. Another great addition of Court Reserve is the Liability Waiver and Membership Agreement. This means you can upload your own general liability or membership agreements and your players can e-sign and this is time and date stamped and kept within the Court Reserve platform for the ability for you to pull that if needed in the future. As I mentioned earlier, text alerts and push notifications are also available in the Court Reserve platform. We also have a great point of sale with inventory management add-on, as well as an invoicing and batch billing. So if you don't want to worry about having to take credit cards or debit cards or cash at your front desk, you can allow all of your players or members to actually get one bill per month and you can charge their card or ACH e-check on file once per month and invoice them for all of their past month's charges. Our new stringing module is a great addition to the Court Reserve platform. You can keep up with historical data about each of the strings and the rackets and the tension that was strung, and you can actually send notification out of Court Reserve to players when the racket is being ready to pick up. We have a new packages and punch card add-on, which allows you to go in and set up your own lesson packs or class packs, and then your players, when they go to sign up for those lessons or classes, can easily do their punch card on their side of the Court Reserve platform. Player matchmaking is a great new feature in Court Reserve. It allows for great social play. So you could allow your players to sign up and then I could have an open reservation and allow additional players by filtering to add and complete my reservation. We also just released Organized Play, which again is a great way to allow let's say 20 players sign up to an event and your admin team goes in and pushes a button and it designates players by rating to a specific court. So when they show up to your facility, they walk to the court they're supposed to start on. Let's talk about your instructors, your coaches, those people who keep us playing on the court. Well, on the mobile side, they have complete flexibility of their own schedule. They can also create closures. So closures in court reserve allow you to go in and Let's say it starts to rain like it does here in Florida. You can go and create closures from that mobile side so your instructors can control the ability to send out notification, um, you know, on lessons or classes and closing those courts down. Based on permissions that you would give to your instructors, they can pull up your entire player directory and make a phone call or send an email. Another great feature of the instructor add-on in Court Reserve is the ability for them to see their programming on their mobile device. So they can actually check in, they can add additional players to a class, they can register them, they can even take payment on the mobile device while they are standing on the court. So before we actually go over to the platform, let's talk about a little bit of go live or what our onboarding process looks like. Well, after this, we definitely want you to have an intro call with our sales team because every organization is so unique and you're going to have specific questions that we want to be able to answer for you. Then you're going to sign up for your first basic training call with one of our trainers. This helps you get started with setup in the Court Reserve platform. Then we're going to ask that you set up your subscription payment. And then after that, you can have a subscription call and additional training calls after that. We generally tell most organizations six weeks is a good go live. Now, we do have some organizations that do it sooner. Some actually get started way in advance and have additional time to learn the system. But six weeks is a good general go live plan. Now, we're going to talk about the desktop side of Court Reserve. Court Reserve is a web-based application and that flows through to your mobile side. So any changes or any design that you do on the website here is going to flow through to the mobile app. Again, there's two sides to the Court Reserve platform. This is the player side, your member side, your guest side, and then we're going to go over to the admin side in just a few moments. This is completely customizable to your organization. You can see we have some different buttons for book instruction. We've got some news about some summer camp. We also have some announcements here. So again, this is completely customizable to what you want your players and members to see on the Court Reserve platform. You can have the announcements tab to announce global things at your organization, but let's go in and take a look at clinics. 
So this again is classes, clinics, round robins, open plays. You can see here we can help you customize some drop downs. But if we go to the list, this makes it great for your players because they can come in and they can choose what categories of items they'd like to see. They can choose by date or by week or even by price range. Now, if I go in and actually register for this cardio fit class, when I click register, then I am already logged into the Court Reserve platform. I can quickly scroll through the additional dates and I can register myself to the clinic. If I am part of a family, you can see here, I'm going to register my daughter and here's what our price would be for this class. Now, you may not take any pricing or any fees in Court Reserve, and that's completely fine. Remember, today is about showing you everything as much as possible about how we can help you. Let's go to Book a Court. Now, you may see these different drop-downs here. These are called custom schedules, because if you have more than one type of court or space, we want to make it very easy for your players and members to sign up for things. So let's just go sign up for a tennis court. I can scroll through the days of the week as long as you give me the permission to do so. And if I click on this clay court for 11 o'clock, this is going to bring up my options. So here's my name as the member, my reservation type. I'm going to play singles. Um, I just think I'll go ahead and play two hours. Again, if you don't take pricing, don't worry about that. Some organizations may actually decide that they want all of the names who are going to be on the court to be on the reservation. Some organizations may allow guests and some organizations may allow you to have miscellaneous items that you want as well. Some of our organizations actually do those member lists, like I mentioned on the mobile side. If I click on my ladies 3-5 tennis group here, you can see a basically a list of first name, last name, phone, and rating. You can add email and players can always opt out of having their information shown in a public view. Now, Book a Pro, we mentioned earlier, this is where your staff may put their schedules out there and show availability. Now, two things on Book a Pro. You can allow your players to request a lesson or schedule and pay directly. So here's Coach Meredith. She's our pickleball pro. If I click on 12 o'clock, again, the lesson types are completely set up by your organization. This is a custom question. And then I can click save here. And now my charge is on cart and ready for me to pay for this private lesson and go ahead and have that confirmed. Again, you can add additional features, news or blog articles, contact the team any kind of customizable information you want. And that's what our team is here to help you do. A lot of organizations who don't have a website feel that this part of the Court Reserve platform gives them everything they need. So now let's go over and look a little bit more about what your players can do and see just on their side of the Court Reserve platform. They actually have a pay now button if they have any outstanding fees that they need to pay within the next 15 minutes. They can also go over and see any of that registration or reservations that they may have upcoming, like we showed on the mobile side. They can also go over and look at their own billing. So if you take payments within the Court Reserve platform, they can come out and see all of their transactions, anything they may owe you, as well as any packages that they have purchased. And this is where those punches live. So if I've bought a 10 class pack, you can see here that I've used one of eight punches. I can also add any cards on file. So this makes it very easy for cashless facilities for your players to sign up and pay for things. I can also add additional organizations that I might be interested in playing that also is on the Court Reserve platform. So now it's time to go over to the fun side. If you are an admin or a sub-admin in Court Reserve, this means that with one login, you can toggle back and forth between the admin side and the player side by quickly just going to the admin panel button. Now we are on the admin side of the Court Reserve platform. There is a lot going on here, so I want to point out a few things. Admins have complete control to make decisions inside the Court Reserve platform. Sub-admins only have selected permissions by which they can do things, so we will be looking at this from an admin perspective. We now also have Reservation Assist for your players, which means if I'm in the process of booking a court on the player side and someone comes in and actually confirms the court while I'm booking, 
it will actually tell me that that court was taken, but automatically put me on the next available court. Court waitlist is another great feature that we just developed, which allows me as a player to put my name on a waitlist for a court, and if it becomes available, I will be notified in the system. Okay, let me give you the grand tour of the admin side of Court Reserve. So, up here in the top right hand corner, you'll see a filter option. So if you would like to filter certain courts or instructors, you can definitely do so here. If you have more courts than your screen allows based on your resolution, there will be a toggle bar at the bottom that you can scroll back and forth. For example, the USTA National Campus has 98 courts. That would be a lot of courts to scroll back and forth. So you can also create the ability for those custom schedulers we mentioned. So if you just want to see your tennis courts or just want to see your pickleball courts, you can definitely do so here. Let's start off with our combo court feature. Combo court means basically that you can have two pickleball courts on one tennis court or maybe four pickleball courts on one tennis court. Let's see how Court Reserve does this. So if I go in and I want to click Reserve here on Pickleball 1, all of these again are customizable to your organization. We're going to save this as a Pickleball Doubles Reservation. You can see it makes that individual reservation on Pickleball 1, but also blocks off the entire hard court number 1 as the tennis court. But we still have Pickleball number 2. So let's go over and actually book a Pickleball Singles. And you can see here two individual reservations, but it does show up on the tennis court as well. If I go back over to my expanded scheduler, we have a very interesting drag and drop feature, which you can control. So if I need to move this pickleball private lesson um, over to pickleball court two, I can simply drag and drop. And we also have an easy way for you to extend the time. So if this pickleball private lesson needs to extend the time, I can simply drag the time and it will show immediately on the scheduler. Now, all of these colors and font colors are all customizable. Some organizations do them by category of reservation or category of program, and some do not. Let's go over to our tennis courts so you can easily see a couple of things that stand out about this platform. If you see a red bar or the dollar sign, it means that you have players that owe you money for this particular lesson reservation or event. You can also see the instructor's initials by which they are assigned to teach this program. You can also see that you have registrants who still need to check in for this program. And the icon here gives you additional information that you can easily edit the event, add registrants, take payments, or actually go over to the audit log. The audit log is a great way to see who did what in the system, including your members, which are noticed here by an M, admins, which are noticed here by an A, and any movement or change that has happened to this particular event, reservation, or lesson in the system. This is a great training tool because sometimes people make mistakes and you can easily go and fix that mistake. Now let's take a look at our check-in. So by clicking one button, your front desk staff can easily see who's registered, their member information, if they have a card on file, if they have a waiver they need to finish signing, if they have a price or this is a per fee for clinic lesson or reservation, if they have paid or not, you can collect payment by simply clicking the pay button. We can swipe a credit card or collect cash if needed. Once payment is taken, it will immediately show up on the registration list. You can print or email a receipt. You can also check in from this view by creating your own check-in statuses. You can reschedule from this view and cancel all from this view. You can also go up and notify just the players who have signed up for this individual class or clinic by email or text, and you can easily run reporting about this specific class or clinic from this one button. Now I can see here on pickleball court number two that this semi-private pickleball lesson is actually a recurring lesson. So I can go in and see all of the additional dates for this lesson and change just one of those dates. So if I need to go in and change one date of 10 different dates 
I can easily do that here. That is a super great feature in Court Reserve. So if you have 50 classes signed up and you need to move one day of the courts or one day of the instructor, you can easily do that in Court Reserve. Now, if we go back to an instructor point of view, as long as I, as an admin, I'm logged in here, I can see all of my instructors. I can go and look at days at a time. I can block off instructor availability, maybe for CPR training or things that are out of the office, and I can easily see their schedule here. I have the ability to see all of my ball machine reservations or any resources that I have in the system. The consolidated view gives us a bird's eye view of exactly how many types of that space we have available or not available at this time. So if I go to my pickleball courts here and I click reserve from three available, I can easily go and make a reservation or a lesson from this view. Let's go up and take a look at quickly what a closure looks like. Closures can be anything in court reserve from maintenance or maybe you have clay courts that you need to water. So again, if I come in and I'm going to schedule some maintenance or some weather, we're going to start it today and we know it's going to rain for the next couple days. So we know it, that we just need to go ahead and close the courts down. As soon as I click here, I will notice all of the available registrants or registrations that are going to be affected. Now, I can do nothing and nothing will happen or I can actually go in and one at a time reschedule or cancel these players. Or if I choose B, C, or D, then notification will go out of the system to all of these players affected. And now I can go on and do other things. So this really reduces your manual email, manual text, and phone calls. Court Reserve can help you close things and notify players without you having to do anything but do this in the system. Now let's go over quickly and look at our reservation tabs just because this is powerful information at your fingertips. You can pull up a list of all happening at your organization for a day. You can pull up your courts, your lessons, your ball machines, but here is my favorite report. It's called the Who's Here Today Report. This is a front desk gold mine. So in order of time, it actually shows your front desk who is coming through your door at in order. You can see who's paid, unpaid. You can collect payment. You can check them in. If you have a mass amount of students coming in to, you know, attend a lesson or classes, you can actually click here and take off a couple of these who are not coming in and check in all of these 10 players at one time. Again, Court Reserve, all of the functionality and features over the last seven years have been built by people like you who say Court Reserve's great, but can it do this or that? And this was a great idea from someone who ran a very busy front desk and needed the visibility of who was going to be walking through that door and what they needed to do with that particular player. Now, you may see here at the top the last four players that have used our player self check in. So, again, this shows you the power of having visibility in a system so that I can see Wilma Flintstone here. She actually has a credit on her account of $190. She has a card on file. She also signed a waiver and the last one she signed was March the 28th of 2022. You can review her membership information, all of her upcoming reservations, classes, clinics, and lessons. You can look at her individual billing. You can post credits on her account. You can send her an invoice and also sell her a package. You can pull up any waiver she assigned. So if you needed to use this in any legal terms, you can pull this up with that time and date stamp and her signature we mentioned earlier. You can create notes on her file and you can also see all of the notifications that she currently has going out in her court reserve platform. Again, this membership detail is super important. Hey, let's take a look at our programming, those classes, clinics, and events. They are all kept here. And again, they start out as events in Court Reserve, but I have renamed mine to be clinics. So let's take a look at our open play. You can see our open play event is here. It has a unique open play number, and we have three tabs. The general info tab allows you to come in and build your own events. You get to name these what, what is appropriate. You can come in and create a number of different categories. You can also use sessions. 
Sessions allow you to go back and report how was the winter session over the summer session. You can set your max registrants, your clinic date starts and times. How often does this event happen? Is it every day, every week, or maybe it's custom? So it happens this Monday, but the following Wednesday and the following Saturday. You can come in and set your end dates or a particular number of classes. You can also set up those exception dates so that you can easily make sure that you're not scheduling classes on holidays. You can come in and allow for players to sign up for individual dates or drop-ins, or some classes you may want them to sign up for every single date of that class. When you go to assign instructors and courts to events, if they are unavailable, the system will not allow you to double book those. Now, once we come down here, you can choose to let your members or players withdraw from a class so many hours before it starts. You can also add custom fields. So especially when we talk about summer camps, you may have additional questions that you want your players to answer, like medical waiver forms or allergies, medical needs that campers and staffers need to be able to communicate about. Now, once we get down here at the bottom, you can see a number of memberships. Well, Court Reserve, we'll talk about this in a few minutes, but you can have different memberships or player access levels. This means you can charge for classes differently, as well as allow them to do different things. So here, my drop-in price for my pickleball members may be $8, but my family membership, well, we may need to charge them more. My full price for all classes may be $141, but maybe for my non-residents, we need to charge an additional couple of dollars because they're not actually members of the organization, and we can use our membership to fill up our class, but our guests can fill in that class after all of our members are in. You can require upfront payment, payment profiles. You can also require approvals. You can have different drop-in registration dates. So maybe most of the people at my organization, they can register for the class one week out, but then my guests or fillers, they can only do one day in advance. You can also show registrants so that if it's for round robins or social play or maybe some open plays, then again, you can show who's already signed up for that class. You can add descriptions for your class. You can also add registration restrictions such as gender, minimum age, by rating, and you can also have member groups. So member groups are a way for you as an admin team to create groups within the Court Reserve platform. And then only the players that are assigned to this four or five high level men's pickleball group would be allowed to sign up for this class. And if you go a step further, you can hide this class from anyone else unless they are in this member group. You can add specific waivers to specific classes. So maybe your summer camps, it's just a great example. You may have kids from the community come and take that one week of camp at your facility and you just need them to sign that camp waiver and not your complete membership and general liability waiver. You can allow guests to sign up for specific you know, round robins or maybe socials or mixers at your organization. And then you can have a charge for that as well. The additional setup here means you can come in and assign revenue categories to anything as well as some check-in notes as well. And then every single program or class or clinic, we also give you the ability to have a unique URL and the embed code so that you can share this on social media or on your website and get players to sign up quickly. One of my favorite features of our events and programming is the copy button. This means that if for most of this information, I want to create a class. So for instance, red ball and green ball, I'm going to make a red ball event and then I'm going to quickly copy and I'm just going to change this to say green ball and at a different time, but everything else needs to say the same. This allows you to quickly set up your programming in Court Reserve. Okay, let's talk about memberships. So you may be an organization that doesn't have a membership, but membership in Court Reserve is like player access. This allows you to specifically give permissions and restrictions by which you want your members or players to do things in Court Reserve. So you can create individual memberships, family memberships. You can even have families. So even if you don't have a family membership, you can still have mom, dad, and two kids with all individual memberships connected in the same family. 
You can have age-restricted memberships, so maybe you have a junior membership. You can have a prorated membership, a prerequisite. So maybe this year's members, they get a discount if they go ahead and sign up for next year's membership. You can also have trial memberships. A lot of the resorts that we work with have trial memberships. So I'm going to go stay at your resort for a week and play pickleball and tennis. Well, after seven days, my membership in your platform expires. You can have purchase dates that are specific, start and end dates, and you can collect fees. Court Reserve can allow you to collect fees, even initiation fees. So let's just look at that quickly. If I come over to membership price, you can set up, again, initiation fees. You can set up different billing, including monthly, quarterly, yearly, or one-time price and custom. You can charge tax on memberships, set up revenue categories, etc. So again, we have full membership platform capabilities for you guys to consider at your organization. All right, let's talk about payments in Court Reserve. If you would like to take payments in the Court Reserve platform, we currently work with two different payment providers. We are happy to email you all of that information, including rates, as well as who to contact at those merchant providers so that they can help you make the best decision for your organization. All of your transactional data is kept in the Court Reserve platform. We have lots of great reporting that you can export out, and it gives you a really great sense of how you are driving revenue to your organization. You can process refunds in the Court Reserve platform. Again, we have refund rules by which you can automate those so that you're not constantly coming in and having to manually process refunds, but some of those you may want to do. You can see here that on 413, um, 20 hours and 45 minutes before the round robin, this refund was requested because they canceled due to sickness. Well, you can now decide if you're gonna go in and accept this refund, but because it was within 24 hours, maybe you're only gonna give them back $8 instead of the full $10 of the class. We have a great sales summary report that you can come in and once you set up your general ledger codes, you can come in and see how much revenue came from each uh, revenue category. You can come in and run a payment summary. So let's look at this week and see how did the money actually flow into the club. We have an aged fees report, an end of day report, especially important for that point of sale. We also have a great batch billing and invoicing, which I've already mentioned. But again, batch billing and invoicing allows you to really save on those credit card fees. Well, what do I mean? Well, every time you go to Starbucks, Starbucks is paying a percentage and a transaction fee when you use your debit or credit card to buy a cup of coffee. So every single time your player pays for something, you're paying a transaction fee and a percentage. So if you use batch billing and allow your players or members to pay one time, then yes, you're still paying the percentage, but you're only paying that transaction fee one time. So that can help reduce those credit card fees for sure. Now, Court Reserve, we believe in the power of data and automation. So we provide lots of different types of reports that you can run in real time. Reservation reports, you can run all kinds of membership status reports. How many memberships of a certain type do you have? You can run a membership waitlist report because if you use waitlisting in Court Reserve, it allows you to go in and actually see how many people are on your waitlist and then send them out a great offer when you have slots available at your organization. We have a great clinic report, which means you can pull up specific clinic and event summary data. How many people did you have on drop-in? How many people did you have waitlisted? This probably is one of my favorite reports because it's the court utilization report. It's a heat map of how busy your courts are. So if you are the boss or if you report to a boss or a general manager and they keep saying, hey, I want to know how busy the courts are. I want to know, you know, how many players you have. Without having an online digital club platform, you can present a pretty picture of how busy your courts are, but this is real data. So now you have the ability to go to those general managers and say, hey, I need more staff. I need additional courts. Court Reserve helps you provide data in real time that you can use to genuinely go and say, 
This is my problem. Here's my solution. Another great report in Court Reserve is instructor time. We do not have employee clock in or clock out yet. We have considered adding that sometime in 2023, but we do have a great instructor time report, which allows you to go in and run reporting and see based on how many hours your instructors taught on the court. So if I run this report, I can pull an Excel report that basically says, here's my instructors, who they are, their total hours, their total number of court hours, and then their total number of clinic hours so that you can verify the number of lessons, the number of classes, et cetera, when you are doing payroll. Again, we have additional reporting when it comes to attendance, check-in reports, a heat map of how many individuals came through your front door, all great reporting in Court Reserve. Now, before we go over to some additional things that I think set us apart, let's check out the integrated point of sale with inventory management. This is fantastic for, again, a pro shop or a small snack bar. If I wanted to go ahead and add a fruit drink and maybe a granola bar, a couple of things here. I can use a, a scan gun and scan this in. I can provide a discount. If I go ahead and want to check out, I can go ahead and actually look up a member. I can attach it to a member account, or I can go ahead and accept cash here and tender out. Now, again, we tell people be cashless, but some of you won't. So I'm going to just go ahead and show you what this looks like. You can process the sale, and then you can actually email your player a receipt in the system as well. Again, great inventory reporting. It gives you a low stock as well as when you're out of stock on hot dogs, which sounds terrible. So we got to get that stock loaded back in. All right, let's keep going. A few more things that I think you should know about the Court Reserve platform. Again, we talked about those system users, admins and sub-admins. We talked about the global announcements feature where you can come in and put announcements up. Um, you can see here we have some in the past. We have some that are active. We also talked about that complete instructor add-on. They can come in and set up their own unique lesson types. They can also come in and set up their own custom instructor pricing. Now, again, this allows you to come in and actually set up particular pricing by membership or player access level and pay your instructors what they deserve. There's so much difference in experience and education when it comes to instruction, and you can pay your instructors accordingly. We talked about those email messages that you could customize. But one of the most important things that we have not discussed is booking settings. How many days in advance can new members book courts? How many courts can they book at a time? At what time the next day can they start booking courts a week out? How many times can they cancel late? We can put in penalty restrictions. Can they make changes to their own reservations? How many guests can they bring to your organization for a month or maybe in a year. We can get as granular as the number of different types of courts. So maybe you have more tennis courts than you do pickleball courts. So you can actually come in and give additional tennis courts, maybe two court reservations per day for your clay or hard courts, but only one pickleball court reservation per day. This has gotta be one of my favorite settings. This is called sandwich times. This allows your members to basically say, hey, do not let your players schedule 30 minutes of time that's going to interrupt my revenue. So you can make a court reservation from 8 to 10, but you can't come in and make a court reservation at 830 because it leaves 8 to 830 as a sandwich time. And if you put that in the system, it's not going to allow. It is a great way to make sure that revenue stays fluid in your court reserve platform. You can come in and set up custom court cost by membership type. So maybe your legendary gold members, they pay $10, but your summer membership, they're going to pay $20. You can come in and provide discounting. So discounting means that you can come in based on membership type and give additional free reservations per week or per month. And it just allows you to have some flexibility with how you want to schedule out those different membership um, add-ons for each membership type. Hey, let's talk about your players, your members. How are you going to get them in the court reserve system? Well, you have two ways. The first way is we have an Excel CSV template 
We can send that over to you. It has great instruction. There's a video you should definitely watch to just give you some helpful tips. You put your data on that Excel spreadsheet or, or at least column it with the way we need the data to be provided. You send it back to our import team. And after you have set up your court reserve subscription, our team will actually import that data for you. Or you can come in and create your own customizable signup form. Now again, you may want to come in and say, I want brand new data. So I want all of my players to just use this signup form. You get to come in and say, I want um, them to choose a membership. I want them to pay for the membership so they can go ahead and put a payment on file. I want to know their date of birth, their address. I want to know what kind of ratings we're looking at here. And I want them to sign off on waivers and disclosures. Now, once you do that, you can actually turn on approvals. So anytime a new member comes in the system, you can approve them. Again, it's very easy and it doesn't matter to us. It's what's best for your organization or facility. We already talked about being able to upload your own logo and customize your website, but let's talk about widgets. Widgets are tiny bits of code that allow you to embed them into websites uh, or social media, but this has got to be one of my favorite widgets. This is the lobby view widget. So it shows on Saturday, which is not very busy, but we only show one day at a time. But if you have a large smart TV or smart screen in your lobby or on your courts, you can actually put this up. Again, this will reduce that front, jet, front desk congestion. Your people, your players can look right up at your screen, know that their private lesson is on indoor court three and walk directly to court three. Now we talked a lot about payments and billing. And again, you can see here, you can set up your own revenue categories, your own invoice settings. If you do batch billing, you can set up recurring fees. So maybe you have an academy where you just want to process a fee each month on a player's account, or maybe it's a locker rental fee. We also have the ability to allow you to set up different types of miscellaneous fees. So maybe you have contract fees that you need to invoice for. That can all be set up here under billing. We quickly mention notifications and those in the court reserve platform are email, text, and push notification. So again, you get to come in and decide what emails go out, what texts go out, and it allows you greater visibility of what your players can do. Again, you can also control this for your system users, so all your admins and sub-admins as well. A few more things before we go. The Core Reserve Idea Board is located in the top right-hand corner by the light bulb. All of the features and functionality in Court Reserve have been sent to us by people just like you. You can come out, you can vote on the features that are important to your organization. You can put your own new ideas on the Court Reserve platform. But again, this allows you to drive the features and functionality that you need at your organization into the Court Reserve platform. When we release new features, well, this little bullhorn here, you'll get a little red dot. And you can see here, new features and functionality we will explain, we will educate you on how they work in the system, why you may consider them, and then you and your staff can determine if this is something that you wanna add into your customizable court reserve platform. We have a huge knowledge base of articles and videos that help you with continued education and in the beginning while you are learning the court reserve platform. And then don't forget, we have a huge community of thousands of admins in our Facebook community group. Join. We put out posts and there's a lot of collaboration that everyone works together in how to work in the tennis and pickleball industry. Let me show you a couple of examples of how Court Reserve's working with some of our clients. So as you can see here, this is the USTA National Campus. If I click on this red Get Started button, this leads you directly over to their Court Reserve platform. You can see how customizable they have made this for their own organization. We also have Lucky Shots Pickleball up in Minnesota. If I click on Open Play here, their button in the middle, well, this can take me to sign up for Court Reserve. They have the links for the Court Reserve app. And then if I wanted to join some Open Play times, well, here again, this is a widget that we just spoke about in the Court Reserve platform that's embedded into their website. If you wanna see Wolverine Pickleball up in Michigan, well, this is the Court Reserve Events widget. This allows me as a player to come out to Wolverine's site, click on details, 
and then sends me directly over to sign up for my duper rated session. Core Reserve's really excited about all of the cool features we're working on currently, including duper integration, tournaments, ladders, and league functionality. Come out to courtreserve.com and schedule an intro call or click on our little messenger and reach out to our team and let us know how we can help you.